Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. A while ago, I did a video showing you how you can send the audio to a conference call number, and I was using freeconferencecall.com. So I had a ministry ask me how I would do that with an app called Dialpad. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, so I set up an account with Dialpad, straightforward. Now, the difference with this one is it does charge monthly, but I signed up for a 14-day trial, and then as long as I cancel, I'm good. So once this video is over, I'm done. But let's go ahead and download the software just like we did with all um, with freeconferencecall.com. We're over here in the app, and we got it all downloaded. Now, the main thing is we're going to come over here to our device settings, and we want to, again, we're using the um, video, I mean, VB audio cable that's going to route all of our audio from OBS or whatever um, streaming software that you're using. You can do the same thing with vMix, but that's how I'm having all my audio. Now, if you have an external mixer, kind of like I have with the Rode um, caster, I could point directly to that and it would work the same way, but I'm going through this the same way we did with OBS. So we have our microphone set to the VB audio cable and that's it. Cause we're not using cameras or nothing like that. And that's it. Now we go back over to OBS here, as you can see, I have another camera set up right now so that I don't have to do this through my, um, um, ATEM, but we're going to come in here and say, we have our device right here. We're going to go over here to let's make full screen. We're going to go over here to our gear. We're going to go to advanced. Now you have to do this on every single audio source that you want to go to the conference call. We're going to go here to advanced and we want to turn on audio monitoring and change it to monitor and output. Now I want to be careful that I don't have this loop on me. So I'm going to mute my output, um, my computer output for my mixer, but we're going to set this to monitor and output. So audio that's coming out of here that you're seeing on the bars is going to be going out to the conference call. Now we're going to go to our settings in here and from your audio. Now there's a couple of ways you do this. This is how I like to do it. I like to set my monitoring device and hard set it to the audio input of the VB audio cable. We okay that and that's it. Don't hear no difference because you shouldn't. Now, if we go back over here to our conference line and we go here to our audio, as you can see, every time I talk, we got some bars. That means it is routing the audio properly through OBS, and then it is being sent over here to our audio up here. So very straightforward, it's the exact same thing. So if I was to make a call and I'm gonna blur this out cause this is the first time I've actually used this. Let's go ahead and make a call. And how do I make a call? Oh yeah, make a call. So let's go ahead and dial a number, which I'm gonna blur out real quick. And let's make a call. Testing. So hopefully that's gone through. And there we go. How are you doing? How are you doing? Testing. 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 So this is going through OBS. 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 And it's coming through the call. Now, let me stop that from the echo, but really simple. That's how this whole thing works. So hopefully that helps. So if you're, again, most of these softwares work exactly the same way, just like with Zoom or whatever, you just have to set on the computer through the app. What are you using for your for your mic. So for us, we're using the VB audio cable, which is coming from OBS. I will link the original video. Everything is exactly the same. The only difference is we're using dial pad instead of free conference call, and we're not using zoom. All of it is the exact same. All you do is tell these applications that you're going to use whatever device for the mic 
which will be the output that's coming from your live stream. And again, you could, depending on, like if you're using a mixer that's connected to your computer over USB, you can use that. Just like I have my roadcaster is connected over USB. I could change the mic for the dial pad to that. If you don't have anything, the VB audio cable will just route the sound from OBS as long as you set up all of the audio outputs like I showed you. Go to advanced, go to monitor, change the settings to monitor and output. That will make all the audio play out to the VB audio cable, which is then sent to dial pad, free conference call, whatever app you pick. And that's what everybody's going to hear. So when you hear all the people talking in the mics in the sanctuary, that's what's get routed to your live stream, but then also gets routed to your conference call. So hopefully that helps. Let me know if there are any other apps that you want me to do. Cause I mean, honestly, most of these are exactly the same, but I have no issue with putting them together in a little quick tutorial for you. Hopefully that would at least you have something of reference to help you out. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks i want to thank all the patrons and youtube members and everybody like that who is continually supporting me here in the new year thank you so much the names on the screen and you too can become a patron for as little as one dollar a month or you can become a youtube member by clicking the join button down below no matter which way you pick folks you're helping us train media ministries all over the world thanks for watching folks this is aj we'll see you in the next video later